hello and welcome to today's video so i'm gonna review that is project elixir for redmi note 8 and this is a stable room i'm using this room for uh, three days so <clears throat> i'll discuss about the rom and the flashing process is <clears throat> i must recommend you to format data whether there is a way that is dirty flash in that way your phone may break so i do not recommend you <coughs> all you have to do if you want to back up your data you should use this kind of pen drive or you may should have a pc you can back up there hello so, welcome to the rom review this is pixel elixir which is based on android 13 and I'm gonna tell you about the ROM so let's start about uh, from the boot animation uh, the device is starting <clears throat> as you can see this is almost based boot animation I have ever seen I have used many types of ROM. Uh, one thing I get in Nusantara that is like this, that is so beautiful, and this is too. So, let's see. The device is booted successfully. We will unlock the device. This is the recent panel. This is app tray as you can see this is so smooth let's go to the settings the settings interface is like this <coughs> as you can see the device is official officially supported maintainer all credit goes to him this is based on Android 13 okay Let's see this is Android 13 you know and the kernel current version is Quicksilver uh, let me show you something this is fast here you will get many types of customization beyond your expectation so this is theme you can use custom theme which can which can be black the device is in go to dark mode look this is fully black and if we switch to default then it will be like Android 12 and 13 default so this is font you can use any of the font <coughs> here is OnePlus then Oppo, then me, Harmony OS, and you you will also get Nothing OS font. This is so exciting. And in Icon Pack, you will get this. And in case of Signal Icon, you will get these various types of icon style. Similarly, you will get a number of Wi-Fi icon style. And if we jump into lock screen, we'll get a screen of animation. This is CRT. Let's see. Like this. I'm showing showing you again. Okay. So. Uh, this other thing. Then status bar. Double tap to status bar to sleep, 4G icon, small mobile tab icon, ROM indicator, show data disabled icon. There are many types of ROM in which you can uh, use this. This is so important. Look, something like exclamatory sign in the signal icon. This is so boring and so unnecessary. I think icon manager you can set, set 
uh, which one you want to see in the status bar mobile data data saver you can keep it off look let me try clock there is no clock in the status bar and uh, airplane and mode everything as you can see so traffic indicator this will show you the network speed you can put this to status bar or you if you want you can put this to quick settings panel here it is I'm setting this to status bar uh, next thing is clock position you can set this to center or right as here is a notch in the center we can set this to middle you are setting it to right look the time is here right okay so we are setting this to left a background chip is like this you know this is common feature clock seconds you can turn seconds and there's many type of customization okay so let's jump into the battery here is inside the icon I mean the percentage uh, next to the icon and the battery icon your circle dotted field text hidden uh, icon landscape many types of customization uh, next one is okay so reticle reticle is basically uh, <clears throat> in case of notification comes a whole area is uh, blocked but in case of reticle there will be just a line action okay we're keeping this <coughs> reticle uh, off then if we go to quick settings um, quick setting customization brightness style outline let's say this is the this is the quick settings brightness slider I'm not keeping this we are keeping it default and quick setting style look at this then switch to fluid style this is um, transparent quick settings panel let's see this is the quick settings as you can see this is so transparent they are calling this fluid we're keeping this off we like the real on okay uh, one thing i miss that is the uh, background transparency this will give you transparent quick settings panel blackness slider you can keep it never show that is the uh, brightness brightness slider won't come in quick settings panel you can set this to uh, show when expanded this is default and show always this is like this okay we are keeping this show when expanded and you can set the position top and bottom this is bottom and this is top okay so you can uh, set data uses data uses look like this here and if we go to next thing that is uh, gestures this is three finger gesture let's see as it, whether it work yes it is working system navigation this is common feature playback control with volume button and uh, quickly open camera press and hold power button for digital, digital assistant or power menu this is just screen gesture okay so miscellaneous okay <clears throat> the first one is ignore window secure flux okay and so you may have question how it works it works generally in case there are many types of website they do not allow you to take screenshot from their site or uh, Facebook or many types of apps which won't allow you but if you enable this so this will allow you to take a screenshot from anywhere and this is so interesting look uh, this is about power menu animation I, I set this to fly and this comes like flying like birds this is so amazing this is a toggle uh, what torts and let's see about uh, how about battery backup I've charged the, my device a few uh, 
about 30 minutes ago as you can see, sorry I I haven't used my phone I after charging so I can share you if you comment me in the comment box I will let you know about the battery backup but it is okay almost on the past with this uh, charging and storage uh, this system takes about 16 GB and what I am showing you the Geekbench score this is the Geekbench score 306 in single core score and in multi core this is 1318 is okay this is more than MIUI I have tried in MIUI that was uh, below this and uh, in day as a daily driver this is so smooth you can see this is play store this is YouTube Appointing is so easy and so quick. Gaming is also also stable in this ROM. I've tried PUBG and Free Fire that are so fast and amazing. So for today, let's say goodbye.